Hello and welcome to Point of View. Ladies and gentlemen, the day we have all been waiting for has finally arrived. After months of anticipation, SpaceX's Starship rocket blasted off on its second integrated test flight IFD-2. This is a significant milestone for SpaceX and space enthusiasts around the world, who have been eagerly waiting for this moment. Welcome to the future of space exploration. We're on the brink of witnessing a historic event that could redefine our understanding of space travel. Today's SpaceX Starship Integrated Flight Test IFT-2 is set to make headlines around the globe. This is the second flight of the fully stacked Starship Super Heavy, a fully reusable transportation system designed to carry both crew and cargo to Earth orbit, the Moon, Mars, and beyond. The end goal of this mission is for Ship 25, also known as Starship or the Upper Stage, to successfully re-enter the atmosphere and land about 100 kilometers off the coast of Kauai in Hawaii. The first flight test of the Starship system took place on April 20, 2023, and ended four minutes after launch with the destruction of the test vehicle. But SpaceX has learned from this experience and made over a thousand modifications to the Starship, including significant adjustments to the thrust vector controls, staging, liftoff, and flight termination system 5. The Starship system is composed of the Super Heavy Booster and the Starship spacecraft. Both stages are powered by clusters of Raptor rocket engines, which burn liquid methane and liquid oxygen. The Super Heavy Booster stands at an impressive height of 71 meters, 232 feet, and has a diameter of 9 meters, 29.5 feet. It has a propellant capacity of 3,400 ton, and a thrust of 7,590 ton. The Starship spacecraft, on the other hand, measures 50 meter, or 165 feet in height, and 9 meter, or 29.5 feet in diameter, with a payload capacity of up to 100 to 150 metric tons. The Super Heavy Booster, which is designed to give the Starship an extra boost during liftoff, is even more massive, standing at 70 meters tall and 9 meters in diameter. Together, the two rockets produce a combined thrust of over 16 million pounds, powered by 33 Raptor engines on the Booster 9 and another 6 Raptor engines on Ship 25. After the inaugural flight test, SpaceX has been hard at work making over a thousand changes to the Starship. One of the most significant upgrades is the introduction of a hot stage separation system. This new system allows Starship second stage engines to ignite while still attached to the super heavy booster. This so-called hot staging technique has been used for years in Russian rockets. The Starship launch pad has also undergone significant upgrades to better withstand the blast from the rocket's engines. One of the key upgrades was the addition of what Elon Musk called a water-cooled steel sandwich to the pad. This was done to make the launch pad more resilient to the heat and force generated by the Raptor engines during launch. Another major upgrade is the new Electronic Thrust Vector Control or TVC system for the Super Heavy Raptor engines. This electric motor system is more energy efficient and reliable than its hydraulic counterparts. Curious to see if the water suppression system preserves the pad, if the hot staging works, if any first stage Raptor engines fail, as they did during the inaugural flights. This second flight test is not just about reaching the stars, it's about paving the way for future space exploration. With each test, we're one step closer to making space travel more accessible and sustainable. Thank you for joining me today for this historic event. Stay tuned for more updates as I catalog SpaceX's incredible Starship mission to push the boundaries of space exploration. That's a wrap. Thanks for watching and I will see you in the next video. We do believe right now is that the automated flight termination system on second stage appears to have triggered very late in the burn as we were headed downrange out over the Gulf of Mexico. But the real topping on the cake today, that successful liftoff cake, 
Chilla, the hot staging is just, yeah. just beautiful. Exactly what we were looking for. Yeah, ultimately, what honestly such an incredibly successful day, even though we did have um, a RUD or a rapid unscheduled disassembly of both the super heavy booster and the ship. That's great. We got so much data and that will all help us to improve for our next flight.